Next, the team serve up another viewer myth. So this one's being talked about by thousands of fans. There are mythical ways to open your car door locks when you don't have your keys. All you do is you take a tennis ball, you cut a hole in it, stick the hole over the car lock, and press it as hard as you can. And somehow, the air pressure will unlock your car door. Well, this sounds just crazy, so why don't we just go ahead and try them? No, they're not making this up. It's an ace viral video from the internet, scoring millions of hits. And it goes something like this. A humble tennis ball serves as a lockpick. With a small hole cut into the ball, the leading lady holds the hole to the lock, squeezes the ball, and hey presto, the car unlocks. So, does this actually work? Tori gets the balls rolling. Okay, what do you got? All right, so I looked at the video, and she had cut a hole about this size. And what they're saying is the air pressure is opening up the car door lock. The pressure from the ball. From the, Yeah, from the air pressure from inside the ball. So what I'm thinking is, if it's about air pressure, I cut another smaller hole in this tennis ball, and hopefully that'll give us a stronger stream of air. That's all they need. Two tennis balls, two different air pressures, and of course, the lock. Okay, so, just like in the video, electronic door lock, go for it. Okay, so we'll do the big hole first. And she said, all you need to do is push it as hard as you can. Wow, it's not working. It's, it looked like I'm doing it the same way. It's love one for the tennis ball. But perhaps the ball with the smaller hole and greater air pressure will pop the lock. Hmm. Want to try the smaller hole? Yeah, go for it. Not exactly open sesame. That's game, set, and match for the car. But the team aren't ready to stop play just yet. So let's take apart what exactly you think people would think this works by. Mm -hmm. I think it's all about air pressure. All right, well, why don't we get the shop air and just shove it into the lock and blow. Making a complete seal around the key lock, so see if air pressure can at all open the lock. Sounds like a plan. After all, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. With a perfect seal, they'll pump in 100 PSI of shop air. And if anything is going to jimmy the lock, it's this. All right, Grant. Okay. Blows away. So this will be the ideal case for opening the lock with air pressure. We've got compressed air and a really good seal. Ready? Despite pumping in more than 10 times the air pressure of the tennis ball, the car stays secure. Well, I think that was pretty definitive. Sorry, viewers, but the tennis ball opening the car lock is busted. And even ideal seal air pressure won't open the car lock. You know, they did it in the video, though. How do you think they did that? I think we should show the viewers how we think they did it in the video. Cut to Mythbusters Masterpiece Theater, where with some editing genius, we can show you exactly how it was done. Carrie puts the tennis ball to the lock, and hey presto, the door unlocks. But didn't they just bust tennis balls? Yes, they did. It's not the tennis ball, it's actually Tori. Behind the camera, with the key. Just goes to show, and this is important, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. Which means that's another viewer myth busted.